Good afternoon, my name is Popeye, making video tutorial number 10 in Unicenta. Unicenta is a cash register program, and in this video I'm going to be talking about auxiliary products. These are subcategories, these are categories that have children. The categories are the parent categories, and I am going to be adding subcategories or subsidiary categories that get automatically triggered. These are my three main categories that I talked about in the prior video. I've got car stuff, that's a brake pad, rotor, labor, and a discount. Then I've got food stuff, and here we've got burger, drink, fries, and if you want to add a discount. And then here are the condiments that belong to the food stuff, but I have fix the program in such a manner that these pop up automatically as soon as you hit burger. They don't pop up if you hit drink, fries, or discount, but as soon as you hit burger, all of these things will pop up. And when they do, you can select them. So let me show you how that works real quick, and then I'll show you in a minute how to do this. So here you've got food stuff, and the guy wants a drink, and his buddy says, hey, I want a drink too. So you hit plus, and that gets changed now to two. The other thing you could have done is to hit drink, drink. Now you've got two drinks, okay. And he says, I want fries. And again, you can hit fries, fries by tapping this twice, or here, hit two. You get the same result. But here's what we're in talking about in the main. The guy hits burger. And look what happens. All of the condiments have automatically triggered. Now I'm calling them condiments. You could call them burger stuff or whatever you want to call it. And here you've got wheat or white. So I'm hitting, he wants it on white bun. And he wants it well done or rare. Well done. And he wants a veggie burger that's well done, that's made with beans for you vegans out there who are worried about your cholesterol. That's me. Onions, mustard, mayo, and now you're back to the main thing. Does he want a break job and stuff? Well, I'm not going to put that on there at this time, all right. He's got $10 altogether, right? and 28 cents. He says, oh shoot man, all I've got on me is a $10 bill. Can you do it? Can you let me slide? And you say, oh okay. So you hit discount and now we are going to take this discount and edit it such that 28 cents gets dropped from it. That includes parts and tax. So you go up here and you are going to edit the line and since I'm going to go price and taxes, you go to this one, you hit minus 0.28, okay, he's going to give you a $10 bill, you are done, you hit equals, and he's got a $10 bill, oh look he lied, three rules about customers, number one, customers lie, rule number two, customers lie, rule number three, customers lie. Okay, uh, you give him his change and now you go over here and you look at the thing that you've got and you've got drink, drink, and that's two of them, right? Fries, but there's two of them, right? That's how you did it differently. And then you've got burger, but look what happens. Here is a star, an asterisk, in front of all of the auxiliary items, white, well done, veggie, onions, mustard, mayo, and discount, and it's in parentheses, and that's parts and tax, reducing it to $10, and it says he gave you 20 and you gave him uh, a 10 back. Now, I am going to show you how you set this up to make the subsidiary auxiliary products. Now this is the product screen. Remember, this is all the stuff. And remember, this is how you filter the data. We're going to go to food. And that's all the food items. And we're going to now look at 
the condiment items. Okay, so far easy peasy. And now all of this stuff. And as you go down the list here, it's going to say what category it's in. Now here this one's in food. This one's in condiments. This one's in food. This one's in car, drink, and so on. You can also sort these things any way you want to by going over here and you can sort by well barcode and the uh, first item here I was able to put in a single item with no barcode whatsoever at all that was the first thing I ever put in and I didn't know any better here ketchup the second thing that I put in I put in a barcode of zero and then this one is 01 and so on and then as I go down the list you'll see four five six seven look I must have skipped eight and so on and uh, you have to have a barcode when you put in a brand new item but what I want to draw your attention to right now is this second screen right here which will show if or not you have a check mark in auxiliary. The parent items are not going to have a check mark here, but anything that is an auxiliary product will have a check mark here, and it's going to belong to a parent. This is going to be a child, and a child's going to have an asterisk in front of it, and not only does it have an asterisk in front of it, but you're going to have to tell it what it does belong to, and you, you'll do that on a different screen. So let's go to the very, very top where we were talking about burger and see burger does not have an auxiliary to it, but all of the condiments that I assigned will. Fries is not an, uh, a, uh, that is not an auxiliary product. It's a main thing. So there is no auxiliary in front. There, uh, there is no auxiliary product. doesn't have an asterisk. It doesn't belong to anything, but well done. I have that belonging to condiments. It's not really a condiment. I mean, that's just what I did. That's just the thing that I made it belong to. Okay, so what I'm saying is, is anything that you have here, if you want it to be a child, it has to have a check mark in there. That's first and foremost. Okay, now let's get out of that and let's go back over here to stock. And now we're going to go to auxiliary products and I'll show you how to assign stuff. Up here is parent stuff and down here is child stuff. So let's go here and find the category of food and execute and let's find this burger parent item. And these are the things that I have already assigned to burger which are going to be children. They are auxiliary products. They are subsidiary products that belong to Burger. All of these are going to have an asterisk in front of them. First and foremost, they have to have had a check mark put in. Then you got to go down here and assign and put them in here. You cannot put in something from the get go here. In other words, if I want to put in a new condiment that belongs to Burger, I first have to go back to stock and make one. So let's go up here and make one. So I'm going to put in a new item. So let's see, I've got uh, uh, wheat or white, well done rare. Let's call a new one medium. So I'll go to the end, went to the end, add a new item. Uh, I mean, I had rare and well done, medium and medium and I've got to go general here I've got to give it a barcode which one was it that I've left out I think it was eight I hope I remember this right and category we're gonna call it a condiment it's not really a condiment that's just what I kinda of painted myself into a corner I could have I, I you know I could divide these things up later if I want to I suppose 
it's a free form program it's a free form database you can do a lot of stuff with this so you know that's pretty nice uh, let's go to tax category heck I'm not charging any money for that but what the heck uh, you got to put something in there and it's zero dollars did I put everything down there uh, I've got auxiliary now let's add this did it work yes it did I've got it now in stock and it belongs to my stock but let's now go to this and not here that's where we were let's go over here to auxiliary products now we're going to look for burger and I've got to go to category food execute let's find this burger okay and we're going to add in medium see now I had well done already and I had rare in there already but I'm going to go to the end plus mark for a new one I gotta find it right and what is it in well it's in condiments execute and now we're going to find where's medium do you see it cheese mayo medium right here okay and it says I need to save that boom I just added it now let's go back to sales and I'm going to start over and I'm going to make a, a new order. Food. This guy wants a drink. He wants fries. And now he wants a burger. What what you want on that, sir? Uh, do you want wheat or white? Wheat. How would you like that cooked? Well done, rare? He says, no. I want it medium. You want What you want on it? Uh, double mayo. And ketchup. And I want hot sauce. And I want onions. In fact, double it. Triple it. I want triple onions. And that's going to be 677. Oh, shoot. All I got on me is 675. Can you do that? Can you let me slide? Yes, sir, I can. So I'm going to go here to discount. And I'm going to go edit line and I'm going to go to price and taxes minus dot o two okay six seventy five and equal and he gives me a a fiver a one quarter 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 okay now let's see what it looks like one drink one fries one burger and that's wheat medium mayo mayo ketchup hot sauce triple onions and then there's a discount of two pennies and it's 675 out the door and he gave me 675 and there's zero change and I paid my sales taxes you see I paid 51 cents to the great state of Texas and that's six and a quarter percent tax to the great state of Texas and two percent tax to Houston Texas and that's all I got for this video these are auxiliary products and let me go back to stock auxiliary products here are pop-up products that belong to the categories my name is pop and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube 
showing how to do various things called tutorials by Pop. I'm Pop. And many of these are Ubuntu basics, but not all of them are. And I will continue making videos about Unicenta, this very great program which you can download for free and go to work for yourself and start your own business. Thank you very, very much.